one of the guys that worked here walked up and said, look, I think someone's been taken by a croc. And I went, oh, you're joking. On a beautiful North Australian afternoon, a group of friends were celebrating a birthday party on the banks of North Australia's Mary River. With the aroma of freshly grilled food wafting through the air, accompanied by the sounds of pleasant chatter and laughter echoing in the breeze, the last thing anyone expected was for this seemingly perfect day to take a tragic turn in the most chilling manner imaginable. This is the horrifying true story of 26-year-old Sean Cole's fatal encounter with Australia's deadliest predator. On the afternoon of August 2013, Sean Cole, an ambitious IT technician with a passion for soccer, arrived at the banks of the Northern Territory's Mary River, about 60 miles east of his home in Darwin, to celebrate a friend's birthday party. The Mary River is considered one of, if not the most, saltwater croc-infested waters in the country, and because of this, visitors are often greeted with blatant warnings advising them not to just stay out of the water, but not to venture too close to it as well, making the horrors of what occurred next even more bizarre. Look, take pictures, but stay out of the water. That is the very clear advice for tourists in this crocodile-infested corner of Australia. As the group enjoyed their birthday festivities, Sean and one of his friends, likely due to having downed a few too many drinks, abruptly decided to cool off in the river with a swim. As the pair slipped into the calm river waters, some friends from the party who'd gathered at the banks, as well as some other onlookers on a boat, not far away from the scene, watched them with a mix of awe and concern. Some of them were impressed and saw what they were doing as an act of quote-unquote bravery, whereas more of them were likely aware of just how dangerous a swim in these waters really is. As the two young men made their way across the 180-meter stretch of river, the onlooker from the boat, who'd noticed the men shortly after they'd entered the water, thought he was in fact looking at three swimmers and not two. However, he'd quickly realized just moments later that what he thought was a third swimmer was casting a bow-shaped wave similar to that of what a boat would. And before he could even process that this was a massive crocodile, the river's tranquil ambiance was suddenly shattered when the approximately 5 meter long or 16 foot long reptile exploded out of the water near Sean, gripped him in its jaws, and then pulled him underwater in what seemed like a blink of an eye, performing its infamous death roll shortly after doing so. As the screams of witnesses pierced the air, Sean's friend who was swimming with him then swam back to shore as fast as he could realizing that he just escaped death by chance, after which he hurriedly informed the rest of his friends of the croc attack. Approximately 15 onlookers then gathered near the banks in hopes of catching a glimpse at least of Sean or the croc, and it wasn't long before they'd find both of them, as the croc's head then emerged out of the calm water with a lifeless Sean's body in its mouth, swimming away ominously in what seemed like a scene straight out of a horror movie. Now as tragic as the fact that a life was lost is, I know what most of you are probably thinking, Sean and his friend were asking for it. And while I don't particularly disagree with this, I think it's important to consider that multiple accounts from friends and family indicated that Sean was the last person that they'd have expected to make such an ill-informed decision, highlighting the fact that this was completely out of character for him. There is a search underway this evening for a victim after a very rare attack there. A thorough search was thereafter conducted by Water Police, the Territory Response Group, Parks and Wildlife, and the Northern Territory Emergency Service around the area where Sean was attacked and as is protocol in the event of such incidents, one large croc was killed to prevent a potential territorial attack on the search parties, which wasn't even the culprit croc, mind you, and not to mention four more large crocs were subsequently caught, killed, and cut open in an attempt to find Sean's remains, but to no avail. And it wasn't until weeks after the tragic incident that Sean's remains, as well as a dead crocodile said to be the culprit croc, were found floating next to each other in a patch of water around 200 meters from where the attack had initially occurred. This of course finally giving closure to Sean's grieving family. Now I do think that it's interesting how this isn't the first time that a fatal attack like this has occurred where alcohol consumption played a factor, and although he was snatched by an alligator and not a croc, the circumstances of Tommy Woodward's infamous case were nonetheless identical to Sean's story, as it was also well documented that Tommy too was extremely drunk when he decided to take a night swim in a bayou just outside a Texas bar, and he did this only to be snatched by once again, he was extremely drunk, and this happened in front of the eyes of his friend that he'd been swimming with, and just like Sean, it cost him his life. 
We covered that tragic case as well in a previous episode, which I will leave for you at the end screen of this video for those who missed it or are interested in knowing more details about it. And it's a super tragic case, but it's also extremely interesting and uh, quite similar to this one. And I guess the main takeaway here is don't over drink when you're near animals that can kill you or in their habitats. And I really think that that's the last place that anyone would want their inhibitions lowered, which in my opinion is common sense. If you found this episode interesting, then there are plenty more where that came from, unfortunately because these are tragic cases, some of them, but nonetheless interesting, and I will once again leave a bunch for you at the end screen of this video that I think are worth a watch. And by the way, I have been receiving some complaints about notifications, so don't forget to hit all notifications under the bell. This way you'll know when the next episode has been released for sure, because some of you haven't been getting notifications despite having clicked it initially. Once again, this is Animal Al. Stay safe out there. Till next time.